Hey guys, Jeff here at Zip Hearing, and today I wanna to talk about waterproof or more accurately, water resistant hearing aids. But first, hit that like button and I'll keep the videos coming. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's no such thing as waterproof hearing aids, and there never was. There were some hearing aids advertised as waterproof in the past, not anymore. Uh, manufacturers have kind of softened up their claims a bit to water resistant. But here's the thing, today's water resistant hearing aids actually have the same degree of protection from water as hearing aids that we used to call waterproof. We just don't call them waterproof anymore because I think uh, manufacturers have sort of decided it's better to play it safe and exercise caution around water. Now, if you want water resistant hearing aids, you wanna look for what's called the IP rating. Most hearing aids have earned an IP rating, and this rating just tells you how protected the hearing aid is from moisture and dust. A lot of times you can find the IP rating in the hearing aid specs. If water resistance is important to you, the IP rating that you want is IP68. That is the best rating a hearing aid can have, and that rating means that your hearing aids have total protection from dust and protect against long periods of immersion in water. So look for IP68, and I also recommend that once you have that hearing aid that is IP68 rating, that you look for the rechargeable version of that hearing aid so that you don't have a battery door constantly opening and closing where moisture could seep in. That's gonna provide a little more protection for you. So here's an example hearing aid. It has an IP68 rating. It has a built-in rechargeable battery. See how there's no like lines back here in the casing for a battery door? There's only one joint along the entire unit. That's good, that's what you want. So according to the IP rating, this hearing aid should be able to withstand immersion in water, but let's test it out. This is a working hearing aid. Hear that? That means it's working. Now I'm gonna put it in water for 15 minutes and see what happens. Here we go, kind of nervous. All right, we're just gonna let it sit for 15 minutes. Okay, we're at the last little bit of sand here. That is 15 minutes. And uh, let's pull it out and see what's going on. Oops. <laughs> Can you hear that? It's alive. So I think um, it's safe to say that uh, if the hearing aid can tolerate that, you know, these are gonna hold up in your day-to-day -day use, rain, humidity, sweat, probably not gonna affect them. But if you wanna get your hearing aids that extra bit of protection when you know they're gonna be around water, look into a product called Ear Gear. I'll put a link in the description. Ear Gear is just a spandex sleeve that you put over your hearing aid to give it a little extra protection. So head over to Ear Gear and check that out. I didn't get paid for that recommendation. It's just a product that a lot of our customers like and it has benefits beyond just water protection. Now, if your hearing aid is exposed to moisture and quits working, don't panic. Take it out, turn it off. If there's a battery door, open it up and just let it sit. Uh, don't apply any heat to it, just let it sit. Give it a day or so and a lot of times it'll work. And if it doesn't, call your hearing provider. Hopefully you have a warranty that'll cover it. So bottom line, if moisture resistance is important to you, make sure any hearing aid you buy has an IP68 rating. I recommend going with the rechargeable version of that hearing aid to give you that extra bit of resistance. Um, don't swim in them, you know, but don't be afraid to take them out in light rain or in humidity or if you're working out, they'll probably hold up just fine. And that's a wrap for this video. If you have any questions, post a comment below. And if you wanna try a water resistant hearing aid locally at a competitive price, click that link and we'll be in touch with you shortly. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted when there's a new video and I'll see you on the next one.